Okay, the second option for creating a grid is to create one where students have to either scan a QR code or enter a student ID. Uh, I already have one set up, and so as you can see, when they click there, instead of using their Google account, they have to enter an ID or use the um, QR code scanner to scan the QR code that is generated by Flipgrid. So let's see how that's done. So if I create a new grid and I select student ID list and I give it a name and I'll just accept the random code here that Flipgrid has given me and I'll just put a, well, let's pick that. And so there's uh, several options. You can either type the first and last name uh, as you go. So I'll just type in um, sorry, Kent. And if you leave the identifier box blank, Flipgrid will automatically assign one uh, as soon as you are done creating all of the students. So I will um, create a few more. And add a student there. You also have the opportunity to use a template uh, from Microsoft Word, I'm sorry, Microsoft Excel, that um, you can fill out and upload that way if you want to download it from your student information system. But I find that just typing them this way is um, just as well. I, I wouldn't recommend using a student's actual student ID just because of privacy concerns. Um, which is why I like that Flipgrid will randomly um, create the IDs for you. So on the next page, you can see that they have inserted the random uh, IDs. So the other thing is, is that you can now download the student list. And once you've downloaded it, when you open it up, you have the QR codes. So what you can do with this, a uh, couple things, you can either give it to the student and the student can then scan his or her QR code with their device to get right to this particular grid. Um, or you can put it into a notebook if you're working with younger students and you can use your device to scan the individual that you wish to record so that you are posting as them in the grid. Or you can uh, have these available at a station if you're using shared devices and the student can then find their name and QR code at the station, scan their name, use the shared device to record, and then move on to the next station. So I'm going to launch the grid, and uh, you would just customize the grid the same way you would before. You can add additional students here if you wanted. So I can do Tony's. Again, skipping the identifier, you can add the student. You can also remove the student. Let's see, Clark Kent is. Uh, DC, so get rid of him. We'll stick with Marvel. Uh, so all the rest of the grid settings are just as in uh, uh, the using the student email. So I just click on Update Grid, and so now students are asked to scan the QR or type their ID. So that is the difference.